Top 10 Best Games of 2020 We know 2020 hasn't been the best year for any of us. Let's not talk about it. But hey, at least we have a bunch of games to discuss this time around. 2020 did amazingly well with the releases of new titles and sequels, as well as revisiting older titles in their remastered avatars. Let's look at our top 10 picks from 2020 just to make us feel a little better about the year. Starting off with number 10, Persona 5 Royale. The Persona franchise has always been about high-octane, turn-based gameplay and this time, out to NP Studio take it up a notch with Persona 5 Royale. Essentially, an enhanced version of Persona 5 Royale adds a slew of color to the already fantastic Persona 5. It isn't just your regular goatee edition with some extras on the side. It's much more than that, adding attention to detail in every corner of the game that's routed to be a 130-hour adventure. Persona 5 really redefined the JRPG genre and Royale just pushed the game to a new limit. Each segment of gameplay is meticulously handcrafted to perfection, giving us hope that remastered games can bring the best out of classic titles that we love to see on a next-gen avatar. Up next is number 9, Doom Eternal. The direct successor of 2016's Doom, this heavy metal classic is a testament to the titles of the past. Doom Eternal did justice to the franchise and how, with next-gen graphics and ultra-fast gore gameplay, it truly really is not for the faint-hearted. This pinnacle of a shooter redefines action to another level that most action movies won't be able to live up to. LG Software thought this out really well, and we mean really well. You play as Doom Slayer, and the basic premise of the game is to literally just kill whatever comes in your way. Simple, isn't it? The game isn't specifically known for its story. Rather, its gameplay is what stands out the most. There's something very unnervingly satisfying to gouge out an opponent's eye and chainsaw a hellish creature into a pool of sludge, or is that just us? When you play the game, you'll know exactly what we mean. Moving forward to number 8, Ori and the Will of Wasp. The Ori series is a visual masterclass. Ever since Moon Studios first released back in 2015, they made sure your eyes see colors and effects that only dreams can produce. Their first game, Ori in the Blind Forest, was an underrated masterpiece that only captured the eyes of hardcore side-scroller enthusiasts. This time, the game aims to create much hype with Ori and the Will of Wasps. There are a very few work games that can be as mystical as Ori and the Will of Wasps. It adds a perfect combination of melodious music, beautiful scenic visuals, everlastingly original size crawling gameplay, and a storyline that will bring you tears with its charm. A huge recommendation from our end. This game is definitely something you'd want to play sometime soon. Now we have at number 7, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Can you believe that there have been 22 Assassin's Creed releases since their first one in 2007? Out of which Valhalla is the 12th major title release, while the other 10 have been spin-offs as well as exclusive games for other platforms. Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 were probably the ultimate open-world stealth assassin story-driven kind of game at its time, but as time progressed, their successors didn't really do as well as they did. Valhalla comes in at 7 because finally, once again, the AC franchise is bringing back the quality that was missing for so long. Valhalla takes place in 9th century England, essentially the time of the Vikings. Valhalla does a fantastic job plotting out the storylines of Ivor and the several characters that you meet on your journey. Valhalla also continues on the path of turning the franchise into a more RPG-ish game style, just like Origins and Odyssey, while sticking to its original stealth assassin roots. Nevertheless, the switch into RPG will help the game's dynamic, while it progresses into more interesting chapters in the future. A solid game that you could enjoy. Moving up to our number 6 is Yakuza Like a Dragon. The Yakuza series has always been successful in delivering one of the better JRPG experiences out there, and this time, with Like a Dragon, they pushed the throttle just a little further. A very bold move by Ryuga Gotoku Studio to transform the gameplay into a somewhat turn-based like street gang fighting, which really brings out a new dimension in the series. The predecessor essentially implemented a reflex-style combat system, and now, with Like a Dragon, 
it seems like the future of this JRPG is going to execute a more structured turn-based style combat. Like Dragon, visually, is a great game and just like the other games in the series, does a great job in the storyline as well. The main protagonist is Ichiban Kasuga, who is an ex-Yakuza gang member. Along with the main storyline, you get to meet a host of new characters who weren't in the previous games. Like a Dragon would be a great JRPG addition to your playlist this year. Coming in at number 5, Hades. If you like roguelike RPGs, you love Hades. Don't know what a roguelike game is? We've got you covered. Essentially an RPG subgenre, roguelike games involve scenarios in procedurally, generally dungeon crawls, turn-based combat, tile-based graphics, and sometimes permanent death of a character. Hades is sort of like that, a visually beautiful game produced by Supergiant Games, known for creating games like Bastion and Pyre, both being in the same genre. This isometric gem really brings out the best storyline engulfed in the Greek mythos. You play as the prince of the underworld himself, Zagreus, son of Hades, characterized by his rebellious nature and washboard abs. Your adventure predominantly lies in hell itself, where you meet a slew of interesting characters that you either fight or befriend along the way. Hades is really going to turn into classic in the next few years because of how underrated and how fantastic the game looks and feels. Another solid addition for your playlist. Coming up at number 4 is Watch Dogs Legion. Watch Dogs 1 was a swing and a miss. Watch Dogs 2 has to be one of the most underrated games of the last decade. Watch Dogs 3, on the other hand, has earned its AAA status for its resurrection of the action adventure genre. To start, Legion looks grand. Ubisoft did a great job in the previous Watch Dogs with an almost mirror like San Francisco, and this time, their London map did not disappoint. A truly open world scenario, Legions pushes the limit of next gen conceptual thinking. With so much to do in such a large space, Legions will keep you busy for at least 40 hours if you want to 100% complete the game. You play as a character from the DeadSec team that's out of a hacking revolution. They updated practically everything with this game, adding new deception techniques, new mission styles, new weapons, new hacking minigames, and you can even blend into the crowd by wearing different uniforms and impersonating individuals of different professions. Hitman feels on that one. Legions was well received all around and that's why it makes its way onto the list at 4th. Coming in at our top 3 spot is Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, here is that on this one. We know that it was really disappointing on consoles, bugs, glitches and whatnot. but other than that, Cyberpunk is really revolutionizing a genre here. Some of the best mechanics and gameplay were introduced with the game that is really going to show the way for future titles that want to achieve greater than the hype and quality that this game put forward. The PC version to be exact played much better than the others and people are still raving about how good the game really is. We suggest looking beyond the cracks for somewhere deep down is a masterpiece that can be fixed and with titles coming out in the near future with the same concepts, we can't wait to play them. Cyberpunk 2077 makes it to this list for revolutionizing the cyberpunk genre and making it bright for future titles. Earning our top 2 spot is Animal Crossing New Horizon. Animal Crossing was such a craze during the early days of the pandemic. It felt like everyone was playing it at the time and what would it say? It's such a good game. Animal Crossing is one of those games where there's just too many play styles. The customization possibilities are nearly endless. New Horizons adds even more to the vanilla gaming, adding an entire island to customize far beyond the four walls of your house. So much to do, so much to see, and so much to create. New Horizons really does bring new horizons to this already impeccable game. Animal Crossing's signature art style has gotten a lot of awe over the past few months. Its childish demeanor and cartoon-like landscape and objects really make you want to play the game even more. A really fun title for players who aren't looking to delve into the seriousness of a story-driven RPG or fast-paced action-adventure title that'll get you thinking, but who want to just chill and have some light-hearted fun with players all around. 
Animal Crossing New Horizons is a must-play and should be immediately added into your playlist. Earning our top one spot of the best games of 2020 is The Last of Us 2. This is the big one. Last of Us 1 left us in complete awe. Really? How could a game be that good? Last of Us is one of those games that'll get you thinking. Right from the very first scenes of the Cordyceps brain infection, spreading across the towns of the United States to the very end of the game, Last of Us really held the player in place for hours on end. Last of Us 2 now is just about the same. Last of Us 1 left such an immense impression on the players that they couldn't lower their standards even by a pinch. When The Last of Us 2 came out, the game was an absolute masterpiece for many, but for a select few, it didn't live up to the brilliance of the first game. You'd say rating-wise, if you were to rate Last of Us 1, it'd be a 10 over 10, but if you'd rate Last of Us 2, it would be a 9.9 .9 over 10, just because of how high the bar was set by the first game. We're not going to delve in the story because we want you to play the game for yourself. This is an absolute must-play title that you just cannot, and we repeat, cannot miss. There's our list. We hope you'd get to play all the titles on this list. We're sure you're bound to have fun doing so.